Hey there, it's Allison Harris, and I've been thinking a lot about creativity and singing and how they're kind of things that have been stripped away from a lot of people um, who were told, you can't sing, um, you know, the consumer market that takes things and turns them into a commodity to be um, that people can make money off of. Um, what happens in that market is that artists are presented as gods, sort of like unreachable people who aren't like anybody else and are more beautiful and more talented and superhuman. And a lot of people don't realize the amount of production that goes into creating that image. Um, especially young people just kind of take it at, at face value. Um, and then also, you know, the economy and our culture doesn't value the arts. And so um, there's not as much art and creativity in schools and all that stuff um, has created a culture where people don't believe that they're natural singers and creators and um, when I was younger I didn't believe that somebody who couldn't sing in tune could learn I thought it was just a skill you had or you or you didn't because I started singing really young and being taught really young and had a lot of support um, but over the years I discovered the hard way with some hard lessons of how wrong I was and also in a beautiful way through my teaching um, of how natural singing and making music is um, and in many ways most people consume music like it's air or water it's just like constant they're just constantly tapped in and people listen to music with their whole souls and really absorb it in their bones and so with a little bit of know-how of physical technique and like how do you get that sound out how do you access your breast support how do you create tone how do you you know use your vowels so you sound like a singer um, it's, a, it's a lot more like connecting the dots than starting from scratch um, it's taking this foundation of people's love of music and how closely they've listened even if they haven't sung or maybe they've been singing to themselves or only for themselves for years um, and I've truly been humbled by um, that realization and that knowledge um, that really everybody's a natural singer and everybody has the right to sing and share their voices and um, you know there's some studies that have been done that suggest that the brain's ability to process music predates speech which I think I've talked about um, previously so consider that like singing might actually be more natural to us as humans than speaking um, and then creativity too like for me creativity being able to create and have the creative outlet of songwriting specifically, but also music and musical creation and having that community uh, really saved me because I was so shy as a middle school kid. Um, I was bullied when I was like starting in fifth grade through seventh grade and um, I just had very little self-confidence. I was an only child. I spent a lot of time alone. So literally the only place I could put all these like new social feelings and hormones and desire and all that stuff was in my music and my songs. And it was truly my outlet for my own exploration of those feelings and to share them with other people. Um, and I, you know, I don't know that everybody has quite that need <laughs> with creativity, but creative thought is so natural to us. And taking that time out to create and to feel and reflect on what you're feeling and um, whether it's from internal sources or external sources whether it's from a relationship or a parent or you know um, or the world and what's going on with the world or what's going on with your community um, you know being aware of those emotions and processing them through art is so key to our own healing and balance and um, then sharing those creations with other people, maybe not the world at large or trying to make money from them, but um, sharing that part of yourself then empowers other people to do the same work. And it creates these incredible ripples of healing. And um, it's kind of miraculous that I was brave enough to go get up at open mic. I think because I had the musical foundation, I had confidence in my musical skills and that allowed me to go take that extreme risk of singing a very personal song I had written at an open mic on stage for the first time. Um, but what happened is that 
a couple of people came up to me and said, oh my gosh, did you write that song about this situation? Because that happened to me and I felt like you were telling my story. And, um, you know, human connection, that intimate human connection is a basic human need that we need to thrive and survive in this planet. Um, and art is a powerful means for making that connection. Um, and you know, my thing is musical creativity, but there's so many different ways to be creative, writing, um, even just reflection and thought in a beautiful place like this. I'm sitting out uh, by the creek where I grew up and it's such a sacred place um, and I wanted to share it with you. So those are some of the things I'm thinking about. I'm, uh, I'm working on some programs to bring to you to empower people to sing and use their voices and their creativity and music more. Um, my passion is songwriting, and songs are such a beautiful, simple structure for containing really complex emotions because it's essentially speech. It's very colloquial style of writing, um, and you know, melody and song are more intuitive to us than we think. So I'll be sharing more about these thoughts, but um, it's really been on my mind, and I wanted to take this time to share it with you. So. I hope that inspires some ideas and maybe some singing and creation for you. And um, I'd love for you to share with me what you're thinking. You can visit my website at allisonsowls.com. I'll put the link in the comments. Um, it's A-L-I-S-O-N-S-O-W-L-S dot com. So um, yeah, I hope that you do some singing and creating today. <laughs>